Hello, my name is Rainbow Surfer, and welcome to my channel. Today we are doing something a little different. I'll show you a picture of what we're building right now. This is what we're building. Um, it is an Easter house, but I'm gonna call it a bunny day house. I don't know why, but I had this like idea pop into my mind of being like, I want to build an bunny day house and I was like I have no idea what a bunny day house looks like so then I looked up an Easter house and a lot of styles looked exactly like this also they were all gingerbread houses which I guess makes sense for like the style of the house so anyways I decided to go with that one because I thought it was really really cute and this house looks a little a little crazy but I actually started to like it the more that I built into it and just just give it just give it a moment and you'll you'll like it too also the house only had two windows so well two windows on each side so I was like uh, I'll just I'll follow it and I'll only put two windows with windows windows <laughs> I this room I turned this house into a, a tiny house so this house only has one bathroom um it has a bedroom but it's an open floor plan so the only room is the bathroom and the entrance which i could have probably done something with the entrance but i didn't have anything in mind so i just kind of left it empty but if you did want to use this house for any reason of course you can do whatever you want with it i don't mind or I shouldn't mind anyways but if you wanted to start this is a starter home I think it is like I, I think it's in the price range for a starter home so if you wanted to use this as a starter home you can and probably dole down things if you wanted to but you don't have to also with the window the picture had two little little tiny windows that I wanted to have on the build but we don't have really tiny windows, so I went with that little medium size one, which I don't think looks as good, but it's not a problem. And this build needs more windows because there's not enough windows in this build. Also, I started with a yellow theme and I wanted to bring in the pink because the pink was on the outside. And I kind of, at first I hated the kitchen, but I kind of loved the kitchen. I added a the blue stove and blue oven, blue microwave, because the roofing on the house had blue, and I tried sticking to the three colors, the blue, the yellow, and the pink, but and mostly yellow because the house is mostly yellow, and then the second most color was pink, and then the, the least color was blue, so I went in that order but i did make the bathroom the bathroom mm -hmm, the bathroom blue because i thought it would be a nice little touch and it was it came out very pretty oh this reminds me bunny day started yesterday in animal crossing if no one knew um i'm recording this on the 28th so bunny day started yesterday and um i'm avoiding it at all costs because I don't like how everything has just turned into eggs and there's Zipper. I hate Zipper. He is terrifying. I just don't know when the cherry blossoms start blooming because I know that's when he leaves. It might be after Easter but I think the eggs and stuff stay for a while. I don't know. Also I really wanted to fit that bed into the build. That's like what inspired me to make this bed was have a really naturey home have like the grass at the bottom have like the wallpaper that looks like a sky but it didn't turn out like that but i do want to make one of those possibly one day maybe this house really reminds me of fluttershy i don't know if anyone else sees that but to me this just screams fluttershy this house is adorable, Fluttershy is adorable, it's a perfect match. Fluttershy would live in this house, I just know it. I wanted to use plain curtains, but they didn't have any of those, so I went with the orange and yellow ones, which kind of seem a little bit out of place, 
but it's not too bad. So I left them in there anyways. I really like the curtains on the windows. I know a lot of people don't put curtains on the windows. I think it just adds to the house. Oh, this is the starting of uh, Bunny Day. Uh, the Bunny Day inspiration. There will be bunnies all over this build. Some are more obvious than others. And then there's some that you can't really see. I was going to add a lot more bunnies and just fill the house with bunnies. But I still wanted the house to be playable. So I only put a few bunnies in. And I really wanted that bunny to be on the, the counter. But it just it kept going to the floor. And I didn't know how to fix that. So I just gave up and put it on the little poof. And it was happy there. So I left it. And those bunnies are staring at each other. Just greeting you. I would be very scared if I walked into a room, like, entering someone's house, and there were two gigantic bunny paintings, and then just two other bunnies greeting you. But then the rest of the house is normal. Oh, a little normal. There are still bunnies everywhere. If anyone wanted to use this house, they could just get rid of the bunnies and then it would be an almost normal house. I accidentally forgot to add a trash can and the mailbox. I don't know how I remember the toilet paper, but I forget those two things. But I did add the mailbox so when I upload it, you'll have a mailbox, and I'll probably go back in and add a trash can because I forgot to do that. Because I, I specifically left a place in the kitchen for a trash can, and then I forgot to put the, cla the trash can in. It's not fair. I wanted to make a little, like, star with bunnies, and it just, it wasn't working. So I eventually gave up on that idea and stuck with the three bunnies. And now we're working on the outside, which means we're almost done. I added the grass because I was thinking of like Easter baskets and I put the, the grass there because of the Easter baskets have grass. I know I'm very clever. I'm very proud of myself. And then we have a normal pathway, which are like the eggs of bunnies. Well, not, yeah, I guess Easter eggs, that makes sense. I put way too much thought into this video, I swear. We are getting to the end of the video, so if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye bye!